capsules yesterday, but I had to work, so I wasn't able to do the things I wanted to do with them. But Shea Bear opened them up because I wanted to make sure they were what I wanted. So I opened them, he opened them up and told me what they were on texting and letting know. So I got here, I got my pillowcases to go on my pillows. So we're going to open this up. They're white. I couldn't find any colored ones for these big pillows. So, it's okay, you know, I wanted a, a yellow, a light, light yellow to go with everything else in the room, but it's okay. I mean, it's a pillow, and I'm going to use it behind other pillows, so that's my idea anyways. Hopefully it's going to work the way I want it. So we're going to open this up. They're supposed to have zippers on these, which will be nice, and they're big. Hopefully, there you go. Nice and big. And I'm going to put my pillow in so we can see if it's going to work or not. Hopefully it will. I mean, I think this is why they probably bought these pillows and then they decided they couldn't find the pillowcases for them. They're not easy to find. These are, as I did the other video, I think they're 27 by 27. Yeah. They're 27 by 27, and they're really hard to find pillowcases. I mean, I went online looking, and oof, it was horrible. And I only ever did find this one. I'd find, find ones a little bit bigger, or I'd find the ones that were um, a lot smaller, so, and they weren't going to work. But they do have a nice, nice zipper on these, which is nice. And I think a lot of the times people use these for the back of their couches. That's probably what they use them for. And, uh, but I didn't want to just put this behind our heads. And, you know, I'd like to have something on it. So I'm going to stuff it in here and hopefully it'll work. Nice zipper. It has nice quality. I mean, it's not, you know, it's cotton. I believe it's fully cotton. And uh, so it should, should be all right. Um, it would have been nice to find another color. You know, because white gets so dirty, especially, you know, in the bedroom, it can get dirty, so, when you're putting it, but, oh well, it should work fine. And here we go. Oh, it fits perfectly. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it fits perfectly. Good. That's a little, a little bit big. Ah. And that's a 27 by 27, so, I mean, if you're looking for big ones, Good luck. They're really hard to find. I looked on all kinds of websites and they just, they didn't really have this size. And it is, it's a little bit bigger, but that's the best we could do, I could do, I could find. So, nice. It'll work and I'll be able to put it on my bed. And I got two of them, one for each pillow, so. And that'll be art. It'll be good. It'll work. And... Okay, so I'm just, I'm not going to open up the other one. you already seen one. Okay, so here I got Bruno, a new, it's supposed to be a new collar. And his collar I have around his neck. The leash gets underneath him while he's walking and you're tugging on him and trying to get it out. It's a mess. So I got this and I got him a new rope. A new leash rope. It looks pretty cool. I got it red, so because he has a red jacket, so I wanted it to be matching. Oh, this is nice. Ooh, I like this rope. Nice. It's not an extended one, you know, which I like them, but um, yeah, it keeps getting underneath his legs and stuff. So when we go walking and that, so I like this one. That has a nice. Nice grip on it. That's nice and strong. If you had a big dog, really big dog, these would be probably very good for. And uh, so, let me open this one up. This is his harness. Let me see what we got here. Okay. Now, I won't be able to show you this because it has my phone number on it. But they did, they put your name, and the dog's name, and the phone number on this. So, that's what we do. And it goes around like this, 
I guess. And it goes around here and underneath the belly. And this is a small for a dog, like his size. So I'm gonna go get Bruno, and we're gonna put it on him and see how well it fits him. And then we'll uh, take him outside and see how well he does with this because it's supposed to prevent from the leash going underneath your, his legs and stuff. And of course, this is in the middle, so you're holding him here. So I will be back. this on there. Feels nice on your hands. Feel it. Mm -hmm. Feel nice? Yeah. Want to go for a walk? Come on. Yeah. It's a little bit big, but if I got a small, I think when his fur grows back, it would have been too small. So... It's full control. At least the leash is not getting underneath his legs like it was. It might be need to be adjusted a little bit. It is a little bit big. That's a small. Yeah. Okay, come on. There we go. Little walk. That might be better. doesn't have to wear a collar anymore, you know, because that thing I was hurting his neck all the time, so I'm not pulling on his neck. Then you'll have to put his tag on there. Yeah, I'll put my tag, yeah, I'll put his tag on there, yeah, and not use his collar. It needs to go anyway, so it's old. It's well used. It. You done? All right, let's go. Go to the door. Show me how. There you go. Yeah, I like it up there much better. You ready to go in the house? You ready to go in the house? Go to the house. Uh, house. <laughs> Bruno. Come on. Going the wrong way. Come on. We're Bye. not going for a ride. Bye. See you later. Come on. That's so cute. Okay, guys. So as you can see outside that it didn't get underneath his legs anymore and uh, he had some, he liked it, he seemed to like it, didn't seem to bother him and he doesn't have to wear a collar, I don't keep a collar on him, I will put his little tag that I have on his collar and put it on here and they give us two, oh, I just dropped them, they gave us two little um, things with a phone number with his name on it, but I can't show you because it has my phone number on it. So, but he seems to like it. Say hi, Bruno. Say hi, Bruno. Yeah. And it seems to not be too hot. Hopefully, it won't be. It's, it's pretty thin, so I don't think it'll be too hot for him in the summertime. So I think it'll be good. Let me pick this up. And I'll show the back of them. They're Velcro. They just go on each side of his body. So. And then someone will know if he gets lost. They know his name and my phone number. So I do like this leash. I really like the leash. If I had a big dog, this would be perfect for it. You know, this is a small for him, but they have bigger ones for bigger dogs. And I have plenty of room on here. And so does he. So nice gripper. Nice gripper. So hopefully it'll last a long time. 
and he seems to be happy in it. He still has it on. And now I can take it off when we come home and inside, and he doesn't need outside when we're at home because he stays with us pretty much around the house. So it's just basically when we go out. Yep. So anyways, that concludes my video for today. And I seem to like my pillowcase. I just wish I could have found them in different colors. That makes it harder, you know. Not everybody wants white all the time. But um, I'll keep looking. Maybe I will eventually find them. But now I can use them. And that will be good. So stay tuned. We have another video we're going to do this evening. And uh, so we'll do, do that one when it gets a little darker out. So... That's it for now. Monkey says she's out. Y'all have a good rest of the day and the rest of the weekend. Bye.